I've been waiting for so long to start filming this video because this fan is still going on. I was going to wait until it stopped. So I have just showered. That's why I'm in my bikini. Oh, hello. <laughs> it's just stopped. Also, if you can hear Rich, he's actually doing a live in the next room. Um, he's a DJ. So we've got some nice back in songs. It is the morning. It's currently five past ten. I've decided to do my tanning routine in a video because I thought it'd be quite useful for you guys that are preparing to do your tans for the summer. And also the weather has been absolutely stunning. And I don't really like spending too much time in the sun just because I'm aware that we all get wrinkles from the sun. I really try not to like get too much sun exposure. And I also love to have the tan as well. So a happy medium is just a fake tan. And I think if you nail down your tanning routine, it can be life changing. I recently feel like I've nailed it down. So I thought I would do a video on it. Share some of the products that I have been using. I have a mix of like expensive and really cheap products in this video. So obviously I will link everything in the description box. That's when you know like you're a good girlfriend when you're like just playing his live on silent just so he gets another view. This bikini by the way is from ASOS. If it's still available I'll link it down below. Honestly one of my favourite bikinis. I have it in a lime green as well and I've worn it for the last couple of years and for some reason it's a one size fits all which is weird ASOS why are you doing that but Honestly, it's so comfortable, really high leg here, and then has this bandeau because I hate strap marks. I've just come out of the shower, feeling super fresh. Actually, I'm really tired still because it is morning and I'm shit in the mornings. Before I go into my products that I was using in the shower, I am going to put a little bit of moisturiser on my face. So the first thing that I use is this Declior, which I'm obsessed with Declior products at the moment. This is the Eye Cream in Jasmine Anti-Dark Circle Vitamin Glow. It's actually really nice. It has a really nice applicator as well and perfect for just getting under the eyes. And it has noticeably made a difference on my eyes as well. Literally a little goes a long way. So I just like put a little bit on either side. Playing with natural lighting right now. So if the lighting goes funny, I'm sorry. Honestly, it's so nice. I love the smell of jasmine and it's really good at like waking my eyes up in the morning. I would go in with an SPF. So my SPF of choice is the Dermalogica Invisible Physical Defense SPF 30. Um, I have lots of products with SPF in, but this is my favorite because this is basically an actual shield to the sun and it's really important to protect your skin even if you're going out just for a walk or whatever, um, any sun exposure because obviously that's the first sign of um, aging is the sun. Pop it on my T-zone because that is where I hit the sun most and then kind of like around my eyes as well so I just pop a little bit on that. I'm actually going to pop a little bit more on because it has been super hot recently. This all goes like a long way with this cream. It's so good. I actually got this sent to me in a PR package. Here are the products I'm like not sure on but their daycare and their SPF is so good. I would usually put a serum on my face but I'm not going to do that because we're going to put some oil, tanning oil on after. My moisturiser that I have absolutely been falling in love with is the IT Cosmetics Secret Source. Um, it's a clinically advanced, miraculous, miraculous? anti-aging moisturiser. It comes in this packaging, it's so nice. Um, I absolutely love the pearl iridescent packaging, I think it's so cute. And that's the formula there. It's quite like a thickish, it's like a medium consistency, like it's not too thick. It doesn't leave my skin feeling thick or like, like I've got too much product on. But wait until you see the difference. Like this is anti-aging as well, so it's going to hit all those anti-aging wrinkles, spots, whatever. Um, and yeah, honestly, the glow it gives me is incredible. Like, I recently started using it again and I've just been obsessing over it. Not sure the price exactly, but a little goes a long way. So you do, I've actually had this for such a long time. And also it comes with this little um, protector top as well, which keeps all the like bacteria in, which I'm a big fan of. I put a little bit of lip balm on. You can use any lip balm really. This is the Declior Intense Nutrition um, Nourishing Lip Balm. This isn't a Declior sponsored video, but <laughs> I just love Declior products. I think they smell really nice. It's like this little travel size pot. And I just pop that on my lips. I actually got this in the advent calendar 
exactly your advent calendar that my mum gave me. I will link all those products down below if you're interested. But that's my skincare and what I do is I do my skincare first and then I wait a couple of minutes or fan my face or like do some housework or whatever and then come back into doing my tanning routine. Just because I feel like when it sets on my skin, especially my face, it doesn't turn out patchy. But if I put the tanning straight away on my skin after I've done skincare, find it like smears my skincare and my skincare I really want to absorb into my skin. I'm gonna just talk you through my shower routine. The first thing I do when I'm in the shower is shave and I have been ugh, on a massive journey with shaving to be honest. Like I sometimes I feel like it just doesn't work for me at all and that I should turn to wax in but I am such a like a sensitive soul and I just can't do waxing. I tried doing a waxing on my bikini line, oh my god it was the funniest thing ever. I had to keep it on me and like I was just walking around the house like I can't take it off. Like honestly it was so painful. What I do is shave my legs a day before I plan to tan. Sometimes that never works out because you know if you want to tan sometimes it's just spontaneous and you're like oh shit I want to tan. I try to shave a day before. I have this razor which I've been using recently and it is a eco-friendly razor. It's kind of shaped like a man's razor um, and it has it's double-sided so it has the actual what are they call blades inside which you can change up and it's obviously eco-friendly as well you don't have to um, dispose of a plastic razor so I highly recommend one of these it's really small as well really easy to use and the curve makes it really good to like go in up your leg and stuff I also use it on my bikini line and everywhere on my body and it's perfectly fine you do have to be a bit more careful because it is obviously a sharper um, tool to use. Just make sure you're pulling your skin before you shave. I will link this down below. It came in a pack of blades as well, as you can see. Fresh. Also use the Femme Fresh 2-in-1 Shower and Shave Cream for my whole body. And I find that it doesn't leave any shaving rash or it doesn't leave any like razor bumps or anything. It also is like so cheap. It's like one pound what did I get it for? Like one pound, two pound maybe? But this whole bottle. On to the next thing is exfoliating. Like I said, try and sit shave like two days before you're going to tan. Um, just cause if you exfoliate over your shave, it can irritate the skin. I think this is from Primark, but you can get them online on Amazon or whatever in a pack. Um, and I've got a couple of these gloves and I just keep one in the shower with me and it, it just feels so nice on my skin. I don't know what it is about exfoliating, but every time I do it, I'm like, why don't I do this more often? Like, honestly, the feeling of being exfoliated is so nice. It's like scratching a really nice itch. These are so cheap and they are life-changing. They get my tan off so easily as well. Area here, I like stick with tan or like anywhere, like my armpits. It literally comes off so easily and I wouldn't be able to do it without these gloves. They're literally like 50p or a pound in Primark, but I'm pretty sure you can get them cheap online as well. The product I use with that at the moment is the Declior. I have the Declior product. So this is the Declior 1000 grain body exfoliator with grapefruit, essential oil, which exfoliates, smooths and softens. And I absolutely love this. It smells so good as well. Like it honestly smells of like grapefruit. Yeah, it's so refreshing and it's not like too scented either. I don't use body wash if I'm exfoliating, so this is quite nice to have that fresh smell. Dirty old products are amazing. They just leave me feeling so smooth. Another thing that I do as well is exfoliate my face. So on my face, I have two recommendations. So I have one Declior product, again, this is the Vito Peel, Phyto Peel Smooth Exfoliating Cream, Time Essential Oil. This is my top favourite thing at the moment to use to like have as like a little mask. You're supposed to leave it on for a couple of like seconds or hopefully a minute if you can whilst you're doing your hair or whatever. Um, but it's got time in it and it's so refreshing and it's such a nice scent. It literally glistens as well, like honestly the consistency of this is amazing, like it gives you such a nice like shine. Try and do my lips as well because I always forget about my lips. 
and I've got the bubblegum bubble gum lip scrub from um, Lush here. It's really nice, it's really like fun to use as well because it's like quite like sugary. So if it gets into your mouth you're not like scoop a little bit out on my finger and just give them a bit of a brush. Sometimes I use a dry toothbrush um, to kind of get any stubborn areas off my lips but usually they're okay um, so I just use this just to give it a quick scrub. That's my in shower routine. First thing I would do is moisturise. I think that's everyone's thing. When you've got to moisturise your elbows, knees, your feet, whatever you find is dry in your body. The one I'm going to use is the Dream Cream Hand Body Lotion um, from Lush and I've heard so many good things about this and it's such a nice formula especially if you have any eczema or you have any really dry patches anywhere in your skin. Just use it on my elbows um, and then I'll use it on my knees as well. Da -da. I'm not going to show you my knee, actually my knee is actually in shock. Ankles as well. Get the excess and just do it all over my feet because my feet always get more tan on so that your wrists have enough moisturiser on them. The tan that I'm going to be using is a very affordable tan. Um, but I'm going to run through some of my tanning products that I have reviewed and let you know what I think about them. The first one that I picked up in Home Bargains, I think it was, is the B Tan. It says I want the darkest tan possible. The only thing I find is it's just gone green straight away. And I don't know if it's because of the mousse. Like, if it's a mousse, sometimes the air gets into it quicker and it becomes more like green quicker. It's very affordable, I've got to say, but I could only use it for about a month before it went green. Okay, so this product I do actually like. This is the Bondé Sands, the Australian tan, self-tanning lotion in dark. This is salon quality and it's got coconut scent. I think everyone knows how amazing this scent is. It literally makes you feel like you're on a tropical beach somewhere. Like honestly, this product is amazing. The one thing I do say is that I don't think the dark tan is enough for me. I really like a quite deep, warm tan. And I think this doesn't give me the darkest tan that I like, but it's a really nice scent and it's a really good tan. Like it really does, doesn't give me any streaks or anything. The product that I will be using today is a very affordable one. This is the Coco Brown by Melissa Carter. Um, it's one that you can get for, I think, a couple of pounds. It's so cheap. This one, I think I can control it a lot better. If you, like, point it downwards, like cream, and then squirt it, um, it's less messy. Perfect shade for me. I think it goes really deep and dark, which I really like. Extra dark, self tan that develops in one hour and lasts up to seven days. I find that it even lasts longer than seven days. I've also been using the Vita Liberata Luxury Tan to top it up because I find that this has got a marula oil in it and it's a really nice top up. It says illuminate wash off bod body bronzer. So if you're looking for like a wash off one, this one's really good. I actually got it for five pounds. This is like wearing off like it's on the last like couple of days, I usually top it up with this one. The mitt that I use is this one which is from Primark I think. Oh my god my dog is barking. Jasper shut up! I wash it in the washing machine like once a week or whenever I use it. It's actually really good and it's really soft. I do a couple of layers so I'm gonna start and do my first layer. It does instantly give you a bit of colour but it develops way more and way quicker. And I kind of like focus around the body of my arm and then whatever excess I have, I kind of use on my um, fingers and try and get in the gaps. It's a really nice color. You can see as well, it's not green or anything. It gives like an immediate color, but nothing like crazy dark. So I'm gonna focus on my chest here and then the excess I'm gonna just put on my neck and then on my shoulders as well. I really like doing it on my stomach, right? Because it actually makes me look like I have abs when I don't have abs. I put quite a lot of, on my legs and I just make sure. Do the body first, so the main bit. And then any excess I have, I bring it up to my thighs and then down to my feet. I'm gonna go ahead and do one more coat like you just saw and then we'll go 
and do our face. I have done my second coat now and I forgot to mention make sure you do the backs of your legs and like your bum so that it all looks fluid if you've got a bikini on. In like an hour or so I'm going to show you an update. You'll see that it's honestly it develops really fast and it gets a really nice dark brown colour. It's a natural light so you can see properly. It's nice and dark and you can see my face is so white. Um, my hands, my elbows haven't even like gathered at all um, and my knees as well. This is a weird shot but my knees you cannot see any sort of like bulkiness around my knees. Next thing I do is the face. Um, so we've already like moisturised and put our SPF on and stuff. The one product I've been loving and I've used for about three years is the Tan Luxe Sleep Oil, Rejuvenate, Rejuvenating Miracle Tanning Oil. Honestly, this is so good. Like I highly recommend it. It's not too dark on your face and you can easily put it in areas where you get sun kissed. I was in this really nice pipette that actually works. I'm just gonna pop a little bit, like that much, onto my hands, like directly onto my hands, and I'm just gonna like wipe my hands together and then kind of pat it into my skin, like my forehead, um, my chin, a little bit on my neck as well. And then you want to concentrate a lot on your T-zone. And the reason I pat it in is just because I find that it's a bit more intense in those areas, like where you pat. And then you can kind of just trickle it down everywhere else. Look at my skin, it's like really nice and glowy. Before I have this on, everyone compliments my skin. You've got to be careful if you're blonde, like me. <laughs> Try not to get it into your eyebrows um, because I find that it goes a little bit orangey, yellowy in your eyebrows. You probably only need one coat. I don't usually fake tan or tan my face very much. Make sure you wash your hands after. And the thing is, when you wash your hands, you've got to make sure that you're just doing kind of your palm. I'm just going to wash my hands, brush with a towel, all lightly around my hands. Whatever's excess on my tanning mitt, I just coat over my hands. Hands are looking like this. So you can kind of see there's literally no patchiness. So it is a couple of hours now um, since I've tanned and I wanted to jump on to show you the tan. It's looking really nice, just how I like it. It even develops more as time's going on, I feel. So I really hope you enjoyed this video and it gave you some idea of your tanning routine. Let me know if you like it. Please subscribe if you like my content and I will see you in the next one.